Hello and welcome to this unfinished review of Marshmallow for Xperia by the Sony Mobile Beta Community team. The reason why we call this unfinished is that we actually wait for the X-Line software 6.0.1 update that will come in the near future. This review will pick up some of the main features that Sony Mobile has provided in the Marshmallow 6.0 update, which is yet the latest stable version of its software. The following unfinished review is just about 6.0 software version. Let's begin. The first thing you have to know when it comes to Marshmallow for Xperia is that there, there is not much new when it comes to the user interface or the overall look compared to Lollipop 5.0 and 5.1. Um, let's take a look of the new Xperia Home. Okay, so this is your home screens and this is your app drawer. You get a few options up here in the corner like sort apps and manage apps, but that's it. But there is more. But let's continue with um, the most important stuff. Alright, it's a very welcome update for the Z3 Plus and Z5 Premium owners. Official 4K support and less overheating issues. Everything looks pretty much the same. A welcome change though is the new Xperia Home Launcher. Now you can change the size from large or small or vice versa on your app icons. It looks like this. As you can see, it's not really stable, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, you can now have the options to show or to hide the folder and app names in the dock area at the bottom of the home screen. If you go to the settings and you see this little option here, if we turn it off, the names at the bottom is gone and if we turn it back on they are back so um, another cool feature is that you now have the ability to download icon packs in order to change the icon appearance um, on your phone and as you can see we got the Xperia X icons um, here we actually provided the link in another post earlier on this um, community so you can actually download it and activate it and if you do so um, you can see that all right so it's not working I wonder why it should work we have applied it maybe I have to download the Xperia X launcher in order to activate it we actually got it on our phone so let's go to home options and press Xperia Home for the X series. Alright, now you can see it's activated. And there is some new icons like the phone, message, and the contact apps. The camera icon is new, I think. And there's a new icon for music and video and album and a lot of other apps. Um, while we're here, we can actually take a look at this launcher compared to the ones uh, to the one provided on the um, Xperia Marshmallow for Xperia on the Z5 series 
Um, okay, so this launcher is for the X series that will come this summer, and we actually expect this launcher to come to uh, the Z5 series and the rest of the Xperia line that will get the Marshmallow update uh, before that. But right now, the only way to get this is to download it from um, the XD XDA forum or something similar. Um, there are a few bugs here. You can't, for example, um, delete apps. It's not possible, so <laughs> it's not uh, a good choice right now. Uh, you can see there there is another um, icons here at the bottom. Uh, let's say the widget icon is a little different compared to the one you get for the Z5, which is this one. And yeah, you can see that those icons are pretty much the same that you get from the Lollipop. Um, user interface but let's continue with this review all right um where were we <laughs> yeah another great option is that sony now let you choose the type of transition when swiping between panels on your home screen if you're a fan of the material design effect package this might be interesting for you right now there is five different types of transitions available by Sony and those are flat flow, concave, convex and the windmill. Let's take a look at them. Let's start with this one. I think this is the one you got on the lollipop. Xperia Home. Yes it is. And let's go back and try this one. Okay, so there is a more 3D effect to this one. And yep, you can see it's um it's a good good options if you like this stuff. It looks pretty cool actually. We can't deny that. And the final one is this one. It's our favorites. It's pretty cool and stylish. All right. Um, you can now swipe down from anywhere on your launcher to activate the app search function. Um, Sony now suggests apps that you might have been looking for uh, on the Xperia Home search screen. And to do that, you have to swipe down anywhere on your screen and you will it will take you to this place the new search screen for Xperia so even if you are on the app drawer you can swipe down and it will take you here if you are on the home screen you can swipe down and it will take you here okay so um, on the new search screen, you can now search for both installed and Google Play Store apps from one place. So, let's say that I want to install Skype on this device. I can search for Skype because I don't have that app on my phone. So, um, let's see Skype and search for Skype on Google Play. Let's do that and here we got it. So now I can, I can install it from here. And in the future, I can just swipe down and search for Skype, and it will show me um, Skype on the installed app uh, bar. Okay, uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Yeah, in the home screen um, settings for Xperia Home. You now have the advanced option to auto show the keyboard when entering the search screen. And it looks like this. If you go to home screen settings and go to advanced here, if you turn it off and swipe down, um, all right, 
let's try it again. Okay, so what's happened if I turn it off? Oh, it was the wrong option. Okay, so this is the search. Okay, it's under search. Um, yeah, if I turn it off and go here and swipe it down. Okay, now the keyboard won't show up. I have to press uh, up here in order for it to show up. Okay, but it's pretty worthless. You should have it on always. Um, yeah, okay, so this advanced option uh, actually allows you to um, add apps on your home screen by just press and hold at them. So if I want to put Android Wear on my home screen, just press and hold and I can place it anywhere here. If I put it on another app, it will ask me to create a folder for it. If I um, put it on a widget, it will actually move the widget um, in order to place these, this app. And if I press it here and just move it around a little, it will actually move the, the other app, the placer app in this case. But we don't want to do it, so <laughs> let's just press cancel. Um, okay, so uh, when it comes to wallpapers and uh, call and notification tunes and Xperia themes, there is nothing new in this release. You actually only got the original Xperia themes available. Um, except from the ones you downloaded on the Google Play Store or on Chrome. Okay, so uh, another new thing in this release is the camera app. You actually got the camera app 2.0. Uh, the Z5 series users did receive this update back in 2015, at least in Sweden, but for the rest of the crew, this is a welcome change. Uh, the video and picture quality has been optimized, which is a step forward. Alright, so this is a good spot to end this review. <laughs> Keep it in mind that this is not the finished review of Marshmallow for Xperia. We are going to investigate much more in the next version of Marshmallow for Xperia once it arrives for our Z5 unit here in Stockholm. And we're talking, of course, we're talking of the X software or the Xperia 6.0.1 software. Which it, it's currently in, in the beta stage right now for the Z2 and Z3 owners in selected regions here in Europe. Please leave a comment and tell us what you think of this update and this quick and hasty unfinished little video. We want to give you something from the 6.0 update, and this is at least something. Thank you very much for watching. Over and out.